Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a KNO3 E45 rocket engine step by step. You will first need a piece of Schedule 40 PVC pipe. This is the thick walled kind of pipe, not the thin walled. Cut the piece of PVC at a length of five inches. You will need rocket fuel that is 35% powdered sugar and 65% potassium nitrate. Mix it together thoroughly. You will need unscented cat litter. You will need a three quarter inch dowel rod cut to twice the length of the rocket engine housing. So cut it to 10 inches long. Now, on the dowel rod, everything's going to be in reverse order. So you're going to need to make the first line at three quarter inches from the end. The second line will represent your clay and that also should be from line to line three quarters of an inch. The middle section is for the fuel. From that line to that line should be two and three quarter inches. And the final line to line should be for additional clay and that should be from line to line three quarter inches. Now we're making this without a delay so there won't be an ejection charge for this one. To make the ejection charge, you need to mix fuel with baking soda toward the ejection charge to slow down the burn right before the ejection charge goes off. And you can use black powder for the ejection charge, but we're not going to be doing that today. So, you will also need a drill with a quarter inch bit, a hammer, a funnel, some sort of a lighter, a piece of clay, Now, to start off with, I've already put in <clears throat> the, uh, the first section of clay just to get started. And as you can see, like I said, this is reversed order. When you put the engine down and you put the dowel rod in, the bottom line of the first clay section should line up top of the engine. So let's uh, let's add some fuel. It's a little more windy out here than I planned on it being. take the rod and carefully put it down into the housing because as powdered as it is uh, 
if you just ram it down in, it's going to poof all over you. So I hit it about five to ten times to pack the rocket fuel. too much. Some of this is all trial and error. Probably go with a little bit more, but not much. This rocket engine will burn uh, for up to 30 seconds once ignited. Let's see how that goes. PVC pipe. And that tells you you have enough fuel for this engine. Now we're going to put the clay plug in the end. Now you can grind this up, but I never do. I mean, you can just use it as is. I mean, it'll crush as you're hammering it. So. It's a little bit high. As you can see, the line's a little bit above. If you want, you can just twist and pour out the excess clay if you get too much in. You can do the same with the rocket fuel if you get too much in. It'll, it'll dislodge the packing. And there we go. It's about perfect with the bottom line of the Clay plug. Now, we're going to uh, take the quarter inch drill bit and we're going to make the nozzle for the rocket engine. Get it as centered as you can. drill slowly
once you see the white powder on the drill bit, that's your cue that you've reached the fuel. Insert the fuse into the rocket nozzle. And with your piece of clay, put it in the nozzle also to hold the fuse into place. Take some sort of vise or stone to put onto the rocket engine. And let's test the rocket engine out. Now, this is an E45 rocket engine, so it will propel your rocket uh, pretty high into the sky, uh, depending on the weight of your rocket. Uh, it's not as powerful as some larger engines, of course, that you can make, but it still gives out a pretty good thrust, and it will propel your rocket. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.